Hello, I'm Paint Eagle, and welcome to episode 39 of this Factorio playthrough. Alright, well, today, uh, I am going to work on getting that rocket fuel going. Let's get a quick look at this attack, how it's going, and it's taken care of already. Robots are all fixing everything. Wonderful. Alright, uh, but rocket fuel, that is going to be a little bit more in-depth. So I'm going to set up, starting with just one, and I'm going to tell it to make rocket fuel, and that is where it wants its um, fuel to go. So I'm going to just copy this and paste it right around to there. Uh, that'll let both of these get the stuff that they need um, as far as as far as fuel goes. Um, and I think... I'll do an underground like this. Give it space for inserter, belt, inserter. There we go. Have a belt going in between. There we are. Um, and these will be grabbing that, this, paste that down, and this will be our basis, our basic setup for um, making rocket fuel. And I think I'm going to change this a little bit and bring you out to here. Get you underground like that. Copy all of this and paste it down here. Get that going like that. And that will let us flow rocket fuel all the way through. Um, now I just need a pump to push it all this way, and power to get these going. That will get all my rocket fuel in. So, I'm going to cut all of this, and rotate it around like this. That will bring everything in. Uh, this will be my, my input for all of my fuel. There we go. Getting everything out, not you, here and there, and then bringing belts around, I'm gonna bring them around like this to bring them, everything back together. And I need power. So you... It might just be best. Get rid of you. Set up power there. And then... These are just going to need to like that. Alright. So this should work pretty good for, for my rocket fuel. Uh, this is a set of eight. So let's just copy or cut this all again. And I want to move it back a little bit. I want to give some room around the front to merge everything together. Uh, yeah, that should be a good amount of room. I can even bring it into there uh, to let everything merge. You know what? These guys need to be moved over to here. There we go. Get my undergrounds back in place here. And then this will be my initial insert. There we go. Come up like this. Come up like this, and this will be what I copy down. So this is eight, and I can copy that down several more times. Let's bring this all together. So you bring you like this. We'll get a splitter in. And that will be... There we go. You will bring in solid fuel. So solid fuel I want on this line right here. Here 
we go. Underground. Up and down. Up and down. I think this is definitely in the wrong place. There we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's a fifth one there, but that's fine. And then this can just come right in like that. All right. You're short on power. Put that there. And then another pump, just like we used in the last episode. Uh, we use pumps to make sure that we always have this pack full. We've got a pump there. And we can bring the light oil in to here. So light oil is going to be one, two, three, four. The fifth one away from this line. So we can bring this a couple more steps. go. One, two, three, four, the fifth one away. Come across like this. And then we just want our light oil to line up as best we can with these. There we go. And we've got light oil coming in, and we are making rocket fuel. At least we're trying. Every 30 seconds, each of these will make one rocket fuel, uh, which will be spat out onto that. There we go, bringing in some stuff to me. But now, it's time to see the beauty of this setup, so that this whole thing can be copied down to there. And that'll just go. And I can copy it down again, but I'm going to need landfill there, which is exactly why I made so much landfill before. So... If I'm making landfill, we'll just bring this out and let my robots go to town building up what I need here. We'll let robots build everything that I need to build. Look at that. When you got landfill in surplus, or in backup, not necessarily surplus, but backup, it builds beautifully. Alright, paste this in again. One. Yeah, we can't quite do the second one yet. Gotta wait for them to finish filling this out. But this is gonna look pretty good once this is all done. Alright. Now, I think the next major issue we're running into is copper. You see, copper is used a lot right here to make these low density structures. And low density structures are filling up this belt. And we're gonna need a lot of these low density structures. So let me take a look. When we use these low density structures, we use them to make, here we go, uh, we use 10 of them to make a rocket part. So we get a thousand of them. And right now, now I've got a group of them in my inventory, so that's nice. Um, there we go, don't need all that. Uh, but low density structures used to make rocket, used to make rocket parts, um, we're gonna need more of them, basically. This, are you making rocket fuel? It looks like we're making rocket fuel. I don't know if anyone else sees it, but I see rocket fuel. So this is nice. This can be used to fuel our rocket, for starters. Um, but then it can also be used to fuel our trains. Look, we're building up some of that. Did I put the rest of my solar panels in my suit? I did not. Solar panels can go in, and that'll charge even faster. And... Give me some more, some more night vision. Um, another thing I want to work on is I want to have a shoulder-mounted laser turret. That is a fun thing to have, especially when dealing with biters. So where is the shoulder-mounted laser turret? Do I already have it ready to be researched? I don't think so. I think it should still be red. Here we go. Personal laser defense. So for that, I just need laser turrets, and then we're good to research it. I'm going to add this to the queue. Now, we're not going to build these lasers yet, not until we launch a rocket. But I should be able to use the personal laser turrets uh, without launching a rocket and still get that that uh, that award. Achievement. There we go. That's what I was looking for. This. Building out what we need. Still don't quite have room for another one. 
And then looks like we're gonna have room for two more. We just need all of our our systems to keep up. Um, but looks like our light oil is staying pretty full. So I've got a couple pumps on it. Take a look back here, see how these are doing. Nope, over here. Here we go. Take a look at our solid fuel manufacturing. Uh, looks like petroleum is working hard and going, and light oil is not yet going because petroleum is still really full. We still have 24,000 petroleum. So that just might mean that we need to copy this over um, another time or two, at least on the top side. Yeah, let's just copy this over. Go. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about uh, these belts here. We might just stick a condense this down to three or something like that. We can move these across like this and like that. Let's see, if I go underground here and then get rid of this, how are you going to do? If I think I need to get rid of this as well. Underground there. And where can I pull it up? There? Looks like I could pull it up there. So get rid of that piece. And place this there. Then we can just get rid of all of these in the middle. Look at this. Underground. Pop it up. And that across there. And once all these fill in, and we are making everything that we need, uh, we'll have much more solid fuel being made from petroleum gas. So right now, petroleum gas is still at 24,000. Man, we have a lot. Yeah, this is... This tank is pretty full. And these can't continue on because they're full. Uh, and they're only using up petroleum gas. I guess light oil and petroleum gas is all they're using. Oh, there we go. They're running. We're just not running all the way down. Um, but oil... That's petroleum gas again. So, it looks like we're just storing. Oh, this is just backup storage. Okay. So we're just pulling it straight out of here. I need to get over there and hook more of that up while this runs, making us rocket fuel. But we're getting rocket fuel. We are getting rocket fuel. So we'll let this go, let that build up that, and I'm going to head over to our petroleum area um, and try to get all the petroleum gas um, correctly monitored and moved around. Go, we've got lubricant and water down here. We've got light oil and sulfuric acid. We've got heavy or uh, we don't have any heavy oil, but that's okay. Productivity module is almost done, and then we move on to speed module. So we're getting the research done that we need for our rockets. We're real close. So let's take care of that, that petroleum gas issue. See, copper's coming in. This is another thing, is I really want more copper. Um, I don't think I'm really putting enough in. You can see we're only running about half of our furnaces. And then they're going to stop. We're going to be low on copper. So I need to set up more copper mines. But right now, I want to make sure that I'm using up all the petroleum gas that I'm making. And I'm not just getting a backup for no reason. Let's get over here. And here, this is the guy that is not being monitored. There we go, now we're monitoring. And you can see we have 50,000 petroleum gas in this system. That's not, that's not what I need. I need to get as much of this out as we can, um, which means I'm gonna use another pump. So 
pump. Get you going that way. And then use up that petroleum gas. So this will force it out of this tank and no more will go into there. Uh, these will still use up this tank, but for now, for now this tank will be used first. Let's see, We've got these running. We are at 25,000. I used up three contents, all right. We're basically never going to be turning on these light oil machines to make... What is this thing? Oh, the power switch, okay. Uh, we're never going to be turning on the light oil machines to make solid fuel. Uh, and when I say never, I mean it's just going to be a very long time. So, and we're making ourselves a uh, chemical plant, and we need four more. So we'll make that, stick them into... Some storage chests and let our robots take care of everything else because we don't we don't need to worry about it that's what robots are for looks like solid fuel is still working pretty well in this area iron is backing up nicely we've got three and we need some copper we need copper everywhere a little more copper there we go and we have our productivity module research completely taken care of. That is lovely. There we go. Solid fuel. Let's get our chemical plants. There we go, three of them. And there, you can hear the robots getting ready to go. Got one more. Stick that in. Go, getting some some replacement materials and where am I under attack and how are we doing here oh, it looks like they took out one of my turrets my other one is cleaning up nicely so it is taking care of business out here over here I also have set up an area to start copper mining because this is a very very rich copper uh, it's just not very big so we're not gonna have a lot of throughput but it will last a while so while we are here, go. Let's set this up for robots to start mining copper. There we can we go. Set this all up. The robots will take care of things. Look at this. And then copy. All of you. Paste it there. Bring these out. Bring these out. And get some power in place. There we go. there and this should give us a brand new uh, drop-off point or a pickup point for more uh, more iron ore there we go and then a splitter right in the middle so once this is done I guess we need to bring power all the way out here go that'll bring power out get everything all hooked up and going and we just need to bring it some belts and then we can set up another place to pick up some copper ore over here uh, it won't be again it won't be fast but it should be a lot of copper all right let's see how we're moving this along you can see solid fuel is coming through it's not as fast as it was um, and yeah, we're splitting it multiple times over as we take things off. See we're balancing, splitting and splitting and splitting. Let's take a little bit more. My last chemical plant. And we'll take a look down here. We got one more going. And 
all of these are moving as fast as they can, and as soon as they use up all of their, uh... And we're down to 44,000. This one's dropping. As soon as they use up all of that, we will be in much better shape. Yeah, we've got these guys shooting at the robots. So that's a problem here, they're shooting at the robots. Uh, but I'm not sure there's a really good way to take care of that right now. But while that's going on, let's head back to our rocket fuel and see what the next thing to take care of is going to be. So we have solid fuel being made and it's being used. We have light oil being used up. Uh, heavy oil, I'm sure we're cracking down into light oil. Let's, okay, let's move me around. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, we've got light oil cracking to petroleum. And why are you running? What is your rule to make you run? I don't know what what is making this run, so I think I'm going to have to head back and take a look at that. And this is all about taking care of our chemicals again. So I'd hoped that would all have been taken care of, but I guess not. Um, seems that something is dropping below the threshold, and light oil is being turned into petroleum. Let's see what that threshold is. See, copper is all being pushed to one side. Okay, so this setup here, we have another one of these um, sorters, sorting it all down to one side. Uh, but let's see what is letting you. This is cracking heavy into light, and you run when you run if lub lubrication, be it lubricant is greater than 10,000. So we have plenty of lubricant, you run. That's fine. That'll stop whenever light oil gets to be full. You run if light oil is over 10,000. Uh, you're only gonna run if light oil is over, let's say 20,000. So you'll be off for a while. So if we go, that should turn off. Uh, yeah. Light oil is over 20,000, that'll run. So right now, it's off, we have petroleum being made. Um, petroleum is pushing it to there. I might want to add something else in here to only run if it's also petroleum is uh, not full. But right now, it's just checking if we have a lot of light oil. So I think we're okay for now. Making a lot of petroleum pushing a lot of this out. I don't think I want to just copy this top bit over again. Copy you, but I'm, I'm going to wait until I have um, chemical plants being made in the mall. All right. Well, we have uh, maybe fixed our, our excess petroleum problem. Uh, that's moving down slowly. So. Once we are out of petroleum, then we'll suddenly get a good boost of of solid fuel from our light oil. There we go. And we are taking our plastic belt. You know, this belt's even faster. And take our red belt over to our rocket launching area. We work on getting that rocket ready, getting ready to launch a rocket. get We're almost there and we can take a look at what we need here we go and we're here so I think this is gonna be pretty close to being completed uh, pace we'll scroll through there we go this looks like the right one Nope, still one short. So we need a little bit more up in this area. Yep, so we're not quite there yet, but we're working on it. And rocket fuel is backing up. So let's take a look at what we need for our rocket parts. We're almost there to researching it. it. Does take a while to research, but that's okay. We can be getting ready while that goes on. So rocket control units, which we haven't done yet. Low density structures, which we've taken care of. And rocket fuel, which is taken care of. And we'll expand both low-density structures and rocket fuel. Uh, but rocket control 
is what we need next. Here we go. Takes one processing unit and one speed module. All right. So I think we need to set up an area to make speed modules. Because I don't have that. We have processing units already on the bus. So what goes into a speed module? And uh, this is a level one speed module. All right. It's five electronic circuits and five advanced circuits. So that should be, well, I'd say easy, but this is uh, kind of evident that it isn't going to be. Isn't it? Yeah, we've got these guys doing kind of the same thing, um, using the same amount of materials. But we are short on our uh, red circuits, also known as advanced circuits. Okay. Uh, so advanced circuits, we need red. Red is coming from much farther this way. Let's see if I can find where it's coming from. Right here. Nope, that's another going in. Uh, coming out here. All right. So we're going backwards. We're supplying anything backwards that needs some, uh, which I think is just the just the mall that needs access. Uh, but what are you short on to make your stuff? You need green circuits. Okay. So we don't have enough green circuits coming in, and I, I imagine that whenever we get a flood of green circuits in with the system, whenever the train comes and drops off a bunch of green circuits, it's doing now. Uh, we probably get a bunch of red circuits that come through as well. But the problem with green circuits, and you're slow because you don't have enough copper. And here's copper drop off. Coming and bring in more copper. Um, but I bet we could make this faster if we maybe had a second copper drop off train. We could try that. Uh, that's an option, but that's only an option if this copper pickup is full and ready for copper drop-off. So we can modify this to fill up some uh, chests to have copper pickup ready. But this is low because we don't have enough copper coming into our system. So I think it's time to work on that second copper mine to increase the copper in our system. That'll increase our red circuits and let everything else run smoothly. So let's get down there, uh, load up some transport belts, and get a our copper mine uh, train, get a second copper mine train probably, uh, yeah we've got the stuff for it, get that set up to pick up some more materials. Alright, so this shouldn't be too difficult. I'm going to come off of this here, so we'll just come up this way, I think. So, trains. Time to... Time to get a little bit weird with all this. Alright. This will be a train that just does... Just picks up copper from here. So, come this way, and up, we go, and back around like this, and you know what, I need less here, there we go, let this build, and we'll let this come up a little bit farther up to here so we have a good place for our train to actually drop stuff off. We go. Turn everything back around. And then we can bring it back in to leave that way. So now I just need the signals to break this up signal here to break that up and then some chain signals uh looks like that's fairly broken up but i'm gonna turn this off 
There we go. We'll just have that extending out to there. And go we'll get the chain signal right there. Looks like this will be a nice place for for some for a train to come by and pick up some more ore. Do I have a train station? Train station doesn't look like I have one. I don't have the stuff to make it. So I'm going to drop off the iron, or the belts, in here. And I'll have to make a train station. Or I'll have to go get a train station. But I'll let them do what they need with the belts. Take all of that, do what you need with it. There we go. We've got robots moving around. Uh, they probably don't have enough stuff to finish this area here, so they're going to be asking for that from the uh, from the system. We'll take this because with a train station, I need chests. Let's say a train station goes here. One, two, three. Can I make more? Iron chests. Yes, two more. That's what I'm going to need. Four, five. Right now, this is too long. Uh, we're just going to make this one one long. And we'll probably have two trains running this group. That's how I'm going to do it. So coming out, one, two, three, four, five. Get power on either side. Bring them in with fast inserters go and then I'm gonna want yes all those things that I just dropped off so that you could build with bring them right back to me go there we go let me get some of these and have the rest of my train tracks. And now they're off repairing this front line here. It was under a little bit of an attack. Yeah, with uh, robots running faster, that'll be helpful. All right. So these guys here, we'll split them like this. that and you'll come in there you'll come in across like that get power to it all and get it all moving so now we are extracting almost all of the ore from this area just throw this here Just to, to bump a little bit more on, just so that we are hitting all of it. Alright, and that is filling up there. So it's time to make a pair of trains. So one train... I guess for right now we're only making one train. Uh, but you are going to be in manual mode at a, deliver, or a station of copper ore drop-off. And stay there until empty cargo. Then add a station of... Uh, we don't have a station here yet. So we'll just have to stay there until cargo's empty. And where do we have an issue coming in? Right here? Well, it looks like these uh, up front line guys got taken out. So we might need... I don't know if we need more, but... Uh, they are definitely way too far within Spitter's range. So it's time to set up some Dragon's Teeth over there. Let's see, where's a good straight track to Dragon's Teeth? Here we are. Copy. Yeah, four rows is a good start. Go. Rotate you. So right there. And that'll give me a start on some Dragon's Teeth. Uh, at least to keep the spitters back a little bit farther. 
All right. And man, I really like this night vision. Now where, why are the rest of my robots not finishing up this track over here? Construction robots. They're largely working over here, but they're not all working over there. Is that not in range of them? I bet that's it, I bet. Yep, we are out of range of Roboports. So we need to get Roboport in. Stick you there. Give you some power. That'll get you within range over there. And then you. Yeah, that'll get most of it. Um, I'm just going to bring you to here. Keep you in range of all this. And we'll bring you power this way. Get a, a little bit of a radial feed, but that's all right. There we go. Yeah, because most of the feeds we want, we want to be in loops. But having uh, having it come out one direction is fine every once in a while. There we go. We can put this light right here. Ah, uh, we'll figure that out. Because we might have to move all of this. So get in. Fuel. Take some of this. And let's just go to copper ore drop off. Yeah, I'm going to want to put this along here somewhere. Yeah, we got one in. Or we got two in, but that's fine. There we go. Coming into the copper ore drop-off. And it will stay there indefinitely. While I grab what I need for a train stop, which is more copper plates. So let's come up here. Yeah, so this is going to be a good place to just dump off some. Uh, I should be getting a new engine coming in. And maybe some wood. No, I won't be getting wood. I'll have to pick up some coal here. And I'll add the uh, the refueling station to his list. There we go. Let's make a train stop. Thank you. Do I have a new engine yet? I don't. Well, when I come back, I can just set up to have two trains coming in this loop. Look at that. Dumping off a good amount of... Go, a good amount of copper. Go. I'm going to hop in before I give it any instructions, because I don't want it to go somewhere without me. Uh, we want a refueling station, and we're going to wait until, what did I give for everything else for refueling station? Well, we'll just go there for right now. Uh, take a look at other trains. What did you have? Three seconds of inactivity. Okay. So, add wait condition, inactivity. Three seconds. There we go. So that will let us refill up here. And then we can come back over this way. There we go. Refueling station. Fuel is filling up. And it looks like there's a little bit of a line at the refueling station. And that's not bad. Look at this, we're riding our copper train, and maybe, just maybe, oh, they've got a lot of line. Um, maybe our, oh, here we go. I was gonna say maybe our robots will bring the 
stuff that we need, the extra locomotive that we need um, before we're gone. But nope, we are heading out, hitting the road. Here we go. Now, for you, you're going to be there. Um, we want passenger presence. So I'm going to hop out here. And... Oh, well, I guess that's it. So this should be a good place for that. And I'll go grab that double rail signal I put down. I'll grab one of them. For that train, I want you cup or drop off refueling station at a station. It's going to be copper mine too. Copper mine too. All right, train at a station. Copper mine two until inactivity for five seconds. So it's not not doing anything for five seconds. Then it will uh, get it'll be able to go off and empty everything it has. That way, it's not just sitting there waiting for a full cargo. Uh, it can leave. If it's empty, let's get one of these so we can finish up putting a light on our station. And I think our train should be on its way back soon. Oh, here it comes. Rabbit. Here we go. And it looks like everything is unloading, which is nice. That's good to see. Put that there. That way, if something else needs to come back through, as soon as this passes, it will be good to go. So I think that is where I'm going to call this episode. Um, it's been fun. We got uh, we got our, our fuel uh, expanded some and taken care of. I can actually paste in, let's see, this thing. One, two more. Yeah, I can't really fit any more, but that'll be uh, really good for uh, making more rocket fuel. It looks like we have lots of rocket fuel being made. Um, now all that's left is to get ready with our control circuits, and that will let us make what we need for the this thing right here, the rocket control unit. We get processing units. We just need speed modules. And speed modules take five of the other two. So it'll be five of each of these. So five green, five red, and one blue. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this exciting adventure through Factorio. I'm Paint Eagle, and have a fantastic day.